you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries november 30th monday the feast of saint andrew the apostle let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew chapter 4 verses 18 to 22 Jesus walked by the sea of Galilee he saw two brothers Simon who is called Peter and Andrew his brother casting a net into the sea for they were fishermen and he said to them follow me and i will make you fish for people immediately they left their nets and followed him as he went from there he saw two other brothers james son of zebedee and his brother john in the boat with their father zebedee mending their nets and he called them immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him this is the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ happy feast day my dear friends andrew was one of the 12 apostles of Jesus and a brother of apostle Peter Andrew and John the apostle were disciples of uh, John the Baptist who directed both of them to Jesus when the baptist pointed to Jesus and said to them this is the lamb of god both of them immediately followed Jesus they were the ones who asked jesus rabbi where do you stay and whom jesus invited come and see and they stayed with him that day they came they saw they stayed discipleship in the school of christ is permanent it means to enter into the school of the master live with him accept his teachings and renounce many things thus in following the master the disciple is formed and fortified the initiative the call always comes from the master on this occasion of the miraculous feeding of the 5000 it was andrew who reported that uh, there was a boy who had two barley loaves and uh, five fish thus he showed his practical interest when faced with the emergency of uh, providing food for such a large crowd this humble offering was the starting point for jesus to multiply the loaves we should take note here that the lord accepts our humble offering our little our nothing and makes it abundant and returns to us what we offer to him will never be lost but will come back to us a thousand fold let's therefore humbly offer our poor selves to him so that he may share with us the riches of his divine life and transform what is human into what is divine the feast of uh, the apostles and andrew was celebrated 30th of november in jerusalem already in the beginning of the 5th century saint andrew appears in all the four gospels as a protagonist of occasion he became the first apostle of the occasion to discipleship as he brought a new occasion his brother peter to jesus right from the beginning of his call he had the missionary spirit he proclaimed the good news of jesus and made the messianic conversion a joyful proclamation we have found him the messiah yes The example of St Andrew reminds us today of our duty to share our faith with our brother especially with those who are close to us he recalls the teaching of the lord that if we want to follow him faithfully we must take up our crosses every day and participate in his passion the lord will then lead us to be with him in paradise too amen may god bless us happy feast day